Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Welcome back to High Kadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life, and Jesus of Nazareth is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords. And together, God's people say, Hallelujah. Well, friends, today is August the 29th in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is One a Day for the Soul. Now, I want to talk to you this morning about a topic that is very relevant at this moment. What is going on in Texas? You see, there are many people that are saying that this is the judgment of God. There are many that are questioning whether it is the judgment of God. And so for us to understand this, let's go to the Bible and let's see what the Bible has to say about this. Turn to Job chapter 37. And let's begin at verse 1. Now, I'm going to read from the King James Version, and then I'm going to read from the Message Bible, which is a modern-day translation or even maybe a paraphrase, but I think will make things a little bit clearer. Job chapter 37 and verse 1. At this also my heart trembleth and is moved out of his place. Hear attentively the noise of his voice and the sound that goeth out of his mouth. He directeth it under the whole heaven, and his lightning unto the ends of the earth. After it a voice roareth. He thundereth with the voice of his excellency, and he will not stay them when his voice is heard. God thundereth marvelously with his voice. Great things doeth he which we cannot comprehend. For he saith to the snow, be thou on the earth, likewise to the small rain, and to the great rain of his strength. He sealeth up the hand of every man, that all men may know his work. Then the beast go into dens, and remain in their places. Out of the south cometh the whirlwind, and cold out of the north. By the breath of God frost is given, and the breath of the waters is straightened. Also by watering, he wearieth the thick cloud, he scattereth his bright cloud, and it is turned round about by his counsels, that they may do whatsoever he commandeth them upon the face of the world in the earth. He causes it to come, whether for correction, or for his land, or for mercy." Now notice in the first few verses, he talks about the snow, he talks about the rain, he talks about the lightning, he talks about the thunder. But in verse 9, it says, out of the south cometh the whirlwind. That would be the tornado. In verse 12, it says, and it is turned round about by his counsel. And in verse 13, he causes these things to come, which we're talking about natural calamities. He causes them to come, whether for correction He's wanting to get the attention of people so that they will turn to him and repent of their wicked ways. He causes it for his land because the land needs the water. The land needs the snow. And sometimes the, the land may even need a lightning strike to hit a tree so that the old can die and new can come or maybe even with a tornado. But it also says he causes it to come for mercy. Now, that word mercy in the Hebrew means reproach or judgment. So God is bringing it upon the land as an act of judgment because the land is acting out. The people of the land specifically are acting out and turning against God. Now, at this point, one may ask, yeah, but why Texas? I mean, we've got places like Las Vegas, Nevada. We've got places like California that are so far on the extreme left that I saw on the evening news that there is a lawmaker in California who is pushing a bill forward that if you speak against homosexuality or lesbianism, specifically if you don't refer to someone as they wish to be referred to, you can actually go to prison for it. Now, I may not understand all the full details of this law, but friends, that's just a, another step in the direction that we know things are going. They're trying to silence us as the people of God. We see it on social media with Facebook and Google taking down people's accounts who are preaching the truth. 
And so I would agree with you. It seems like there are places in the country that would be far better served to receive the judgment of God. And we would ask, why Texas? Well, God has his reasons. I mean, maybe there are things about Texas economically providing the rest of the United States that because they are going through this, the rest of us are going to suffer as well. I don't know. I can only tell you what the Bible says. And the Bible says he brings these things forth because of judgment for his land or for correction. Well, let's look at the message and see what the message says and how it reads. It says, whenever this happens in verse 1, my heart stops. I'm stunned. I can't catch my breath. Listen to it. Listen to his thunder, the rolling, rumbling thunder of his voice. He lets loose his lightnings from horizon to horizon, lighting up the earth from pole to pole. In their wake, the thunder echoes his voice, powerful and majestic. He lets out all the stops. He holds nothing back. No one can mistake that voice, his word thundering so wondrously, his mighty acts staggering our understanding. He orders the snow, blanket the earth, and the rain soak the whole countryside. No one can escape the weather. It's there. And no one can escape from God. He is there. Wild animals take shelter. They crawl into their dens. When blizzards roar out of the north and freezing rain crusts the land, it's God's breath that forms the ice. It's God's breath that turns lakes and rivers solid. It's God who hurls lightning from them every which way. He puts them through their paces, first this way, then that. He commands them to do what he says all over the world whether for discipline or grace or extravagant love, he makes sure they make their mark. So friends, here's the question we would have to ask ourselves today. Now, I live in Colorado. I'm not sure exactly where you may be, but if we were the people suffering at the hand of these torrential floods of this hurricane that hit Texas, would we be looking to God right now for answers? Would we be looking to God right now for strength? Would we be looking to God for support? Would we be looking to God for help? How many do you think in Texas right now are looking to God? Do you think it would be the majority? Or do you think people are angry, confused, bitter, and misguided? Well, friends, as we look upon Texas and we see the events taking place there, certainly our prayers need to be with them. But we should also remind ourselves, only for the grace of God, there go I. Because it may be the next event happens in your city, happens in my city. And I can tell you with full authority from the Bible, if you are not looking to God now in these times of prosperity, you certainly will not be looking to him then. Now, I understand the idea of jailhouse repentance. In other words, People will repent before God in times of great suffering, and that's certainly one of the purposes of it that we just read about. But how long will that repentance last? As soon as things get well again, as, as soon as the land begins to heal, as soon as people begin to rebuild, will they continue their obedience to the Lord, or will they drift right back into the ways that they used to be? Well, for the majority, that is sadly true. But there are a small handful that truly will find God in these times of great suffering. And as for that, we should give him praise. And so here is how I would like to end this morning. Looking at this event that is so relevant to our world right now, if you do not live in Texas, your heart should be full of praise and thanksgiving that you are not enduring such suffering. And at the same time, your heart should be torn toward those who are. Remember them in prayer. Lift them up to the Father so that they too might walk in the sweet and blissful blessing that you enjoy with the Lord Jesus Christ each and every day. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so thankful that you're here again this morning. I pray 
that the counsel of God, that the word of God, that the wisdom of God is penetrating your soul and causing you to be a better follower of the Lord Jesus. Now, as he wills, and until next time, I love you, and I'll see you on the next video.